12,675 doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine expected to hit the ground in the Granite State next week. This vaccine is going to go to our hospitals for their high-risk health workers and our long-term care facilities. Phase 1A of the plan puts the highest risk people at the front of the line. Long-term care facilities will take priority. The cases out of these facilities have amounted for the majority of COVID-related deaths in the state. Health Commissioner Lori Shibanet says the vaccine can't come fast enough. I have that same feeling of dread today that, I, that I've had, you know, previously as I watch our numbers tick up. But keeping morale high is especially important right now. We are conjuring up that last bit of fight to get through vaccination and hopefully get on the other side of this in early spring. A lot of work will be done to push out the vaccine in the fastest and safest way. We are meeting very regularly with the pharmacies to understand um, their plan for New Hampshire. What does that mean? So if they can begin operating December 21st, what exactly is that going to look like? How many facilities are they planning to do each week. There's also a big effort underway to educate and encourage as many people as possible to get the vaccine. We are very actively preparing materials based on the preliminary information we've received. And um, I, I do trust that you're going to be, um, I'll say, inundated uh, as a negative thing, but you're going to get a lot of information and in in really even the days and weeks to come. And Pfizer is the first vaccine expected to be approved. Moderna will go through a similar process next week and could be shipped and administered before Christmas as well. While those initial doses may seem like a low number, health officials are expecting weekly allocations to increase rather quickly. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Lally, WMUR News 9.